people are demonstrating today. The focus was on the Minnesota State Board of Investments. And our chief political reporter, Tom Hauser, is here now uh, to explain why that is. Tom? Leah, the State Board of Investments has nearly $129 billion in assets they are managing, including public pension funds. A small fraction of that amount is invested in Israeli banks and bonds or defense contractors. Pro-Palestinian groups want the state to end those investments. At this time, I'd now call the meeting of the State Board of Investment to order. Governor Tim Walz did not address the issue of investments in companies doing business with Israel, but the Board of Investments he chairs allowed demonstrators to testify. Divestment from Israel's weapon industries, banks, and bonds is not the same as anti-Semitism. Retirees Lucia Smith and Sarah Martin object to their pension funds being invested in companies aiding Israel's defense. I join the demand that you, the SBI, divest these investments involved in the denial of the rights of the people of Palestine. Not another nickel, not another dime. No more money for Israel's rights. The group demonstrated as the meeting ended. The Jewish Community Relations Council and others criticized the protests. Pure economic warfare against Israel, the Jewish state. Divestment would move the needle in the wrong direction. Instead, it would give comfort and encouragement to a movement fundamentally dedicated to the destruction of Israel. The protesters chanted a slogan often associated with the destruction of Israel. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. People try to make it seem like a controversial thing, but you know, when we use that chant, we are calling for equal human rights for Palestinians in their historic homeland. However, the slogan from the river to the sea is in the Hamas charter and is among the reasons Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib was censured by Congress when she used the phrase in relation to Israel. It's among the reasons supporters of Israel view demonstrations like we saw today as being anti-Semitic. The group we saw today plans to protest outside Senator Amy Klobuchar's Minneapolis office tomorrow morning. Leah. Tom Hauser reporting for us.